So these are just like cheese circles of cheese. Who calls it the aughts? Whoa, I love this. <laughs> Noodles so sweet. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle. This week, I am I'm excited every week, every week I'm excited to show you these entrepreneurs boxes, but this week I am particularly excited because they work in a field that I work in. So this is the box that is curated by the founders of Socialfly. So their names are Courtney and Stephanie, and these two women both had jobs. One of them worked with money, and one of them worked with in hospitality. They were both kind of working these jobs, and they enjoyed them, but they knew they kind of had that, you know, that entrepreneurial spirit of like, I have to do something of my own, I have to create my own business. And they were both working uh, at the time when social media was just becoming something that was being recognized as really important for brands. So a lot of people, you know, people that had MySpace, they had Facebook, but then, it, you know, in the, the late O's, early 10s, it started to get, what are they called? I guess the late 2000s. The aughts? The aughts? Yeah, the aughts. Who calls it the aughts? How do you go from the 80s, the 90s, then the aughts? They recognize, you know what? Social media is gonna be a big thing in a couple of years. It's big now, but it's probably gonna be very important for people later on uh, down the game. So they launched Socialfly, which is a social media first digital marketing and public relations firm that has been going strong since I believe 2011. I might be wrong about that, but my laptop died and I can't check my notes. So I'm really excited to share you uh, what's inside of this box because I work in social media as well. And I'm so moved by people who kind of forge their own way, especially people who want to forge their own way in social media, because I don't need to tell you guys, it's a hellscape. Okay, so the first item in the social fly box is, ooh, they're called, they're called wisps. They're cheese crisps. So these are like cheese cheddar wafer crackers. 100% real cheese and nothing else. That's a thrill. So these are just like cheese circles of cheese. Whether they're on a call or they're just at a late meeting or you know those fun social media war rooms around the Super Bowl, something like that. I bet they've just got bags of these crisps all over the place. Ladies, I think this makes perfect sense. This is a sensible snack. I, mean, I don't know if it's sensible, it's just all cheese, but it's Keto friendly. So I love these, I'll probably keep a bag for myself. Oh, here's something that's a little wild. So the next item we have is a water bottle that says entrepreneurista on it, which is sort of a fun way to say entrepreneur. They just stay hydrated. They stay hydrated all day. They're eating their cheese snacks. They got a lot of salt coming in, so they gotta drink water. No, I'm totally kidding, but they do. They drink a lot of water. It's so important, and this is something that I know firsthand how important it is to hydrate. My whole thing is like, I'll go to like 6.30 and I'm like, I can be on empty. Like I can crap out right at 6.30 and that's fine. But if you run your business and you're responsible for clients or for <laughs> employees or customers, whatever it is, you really do need to be on your A game at all times. And I have heard through science that water is very important for you. Or at least liquids are, I'm not quite sure. The next item we've got in the social fly box is, ooh, power mist. Moisturizing hand sanitizer. I'm gonna open, I'm just gonna open this because I think this is really cool and it's very necessary right now. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a, it's a. Do you want a mist? Give me your hands. Come here, give me, everyone give me your hands. Wow, your, your other hand is filthy. Give me that. There it is. Whoa, I love this. Hand sanitizer right now, you guys. This is the name of the game, but this speaks to the level that these ladies are operating on. This is not hand sanitizer, this is a hand mist. This is next level. I'm obsessed with this. I think this is a really smart product. You can carry it in your bag. I'm sure that they're, you know, even while they've adapted to everything happening in the world, they've still probably gone to business meetings. This is a great way to stay safe. Um, okay, the next item we've got in the social fly box is an inner beauty sheer bliss oil infused lip tint. So I think this is a little reminiscent to the lipstick in the Sarah Funk box, but this is more of a lip tint. I think this also kind of speaks to just like being ready for the day and making sure that you're feeling confident and ready. Oh yeah, it is. It's like a red, oh, this is a nice color. This is a nice color. It's a red. 
<laughs> I don't wear makeup, but this is a fabulous color. So they love this brand called Inner Beauty. Um, it's a cosmetic brand that creates all natural cosmetic products. And they said that this lip tint is something that they love to keep on hand. You're going from call to call, you're drinking water, you're eating cheese crisps. I don't know, you gotta touch up your lips. And this is a great thing to do. So the next item we have is, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna go too long on this, but I could talk about this forever. Lumisol Broad Spectrum SPF. So I think this is also probably a little spritzer, a little spray. Oh, I don't, yeah, it is. Oh my God, it looks like, you know, this looks like that thing for Men in Black. This looks like the thing that's, and instead of I'm gonna erase your memory, it's I'm gonna protect you from ultraviolet rays. And it sounds like these, they've been in Florida for a little while, just, remote, right, social media, just working on their business. And now that they're in Florida, they have to be even more thoughtful about the amount of SPF they put on, because I hear the sun doesn't go away in Florida. Oh, it's got a little thing! You can latch it to your pants! This is, this is cool. This is who I want to be. I want to be the one with my SPF 50 on a carabiner. Okay, the last item we've got in the social fly box is virtual meeting digit cards. Oh. They're like non-verbals. So they've made, they've, been, they've created these too. Their company made these, yeah. Wait, these are, they, they made these? They made these. They made these cards because they recognize that being on Zoom calls all day, every day, were getting stale. And they wanted to use this as an opportunity to give people who might be uncomfortable speaking up on Zoom calls or might be uncomfortable just using the technology in general, give them the opportunity to use these little communication cards. I think that is so smart. And I think that what, what I love about that is it doesn't just speak to them thinking, okay, we have a social media business and we need clients. It speaks to them solving an internal issue as well. It, it speaks to them going, we have people who work for us and are going to be engaging with us in this way. And we wanna find a way to make that work for them and to make that fun and participatory in a way that people can, you know, I can imagine this is kind of fun if everyone's kind of muted and they're just kind of looking for like a... <laughs> I think these are absolutely brilliant. Um, and I hope you're selling them because I will buy these. That is everything. That is absolutely everything in the social fly box with Courtney Spitzer and Stephanie Abrams Carton. I am so... Two. Oh my God, Courtney, Stephanie, if you're watching this, I love the items that you put into this box. I love that I got a good feel about how you two work together and what's important to you about your business. As someone who works in social media every single day, it makes perfect sense to me that you would think of a way to make Zoom more stimulating, a way to make those digital engagements more entertaining or a way that uh, people would, would feel like they wanted to speak up more. I think that's such a key uh, uh, sort of core. Okay, maybe I'm on the wrong track with this. Maybe they maybe they did something. What did, they could have done better? Maybe they could have done something better. I'll be quiet. So social media is good. He's reminiscing about the war. Noodle! The 70s weren't fun for everybody, okay? So thank you so much for watching this week's episode. If you liked this episode and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Yes, and thank you, Katie, for that. You need to pick it up, Christopher. You need to pick it up. Ring the bell to get notifications anytime a new episode of Tools of the Trade or School of Hustle or any one of our GoDaddy shows goes live. So again, for myself, for Noodle, and for this glass of wine I haven't finished, and for these cheese wisps that I <laughs> think are really fun, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you next week or to whenever we post this again.